Welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is ABM Graphics. Yes, and today I just want to show you a very good idea that I just realized that because so many people, so many designers have problem in this particular angle. And this particular angle is nothing but the banner, triangular banner, triangle banner. How, you know, there are certain banners uh, when you want to design it for something, you know, and when you look at that particular banner, look so shapeless, you know, like a triangle. How do you design? So when the printout is done, it will fit in without having so many spaces on that. Yes, how do you do that? You know, this particular uh, concept came when I was working at one particular uh, company just around me. And, you know, the first day they gave it to me was like, I love, of course, you know, how they show me to do it is not what I did it because they show me to just uh, get something small and then just put it there. But the shape will not be there. I said, no. As a professional graphic designer, you need to work around all things. You know, you need to just be so distant. Yes. So that day I do it perfectly and it looks so beautiful. Yes. And how do you do that? How do you design a triangle banner just like this? Yes. This is triangle banner. Uh, one, two, three. How do you do that so that when the printout is done, all this shape will fit in to what you have just mentioned. And this particular thing is that the width is 130 inches and the height is 43 inches. And then it looks so beautiful. And this one, there is there are certain parts that there will be there will be another a size or another uh, inch over here you can get an inch just and that one will just look something like this over there you see that it will have there are certain uh, stores front front of stores you can see that kind of small thing please measure it when you measure it you can use this approach to do it but however this particular approach doesn't have that kind of this thing it was just just like this the edge is just like it it's not just like that okay so first of all this one i just want to show you how to design this kind of triangular banner and it will look so beautiful and this particular design was done by a dark queen sleeve a, a friend and a very good friend who do this kind of uh, this thing and his store looks like this it was just triangle so i don't have because it looks like a triangle because i cannot do it i just decided to design it on this particular thing and then they will just go and mess up no do it rightly so that the client will like you so first of all i don't want to just uh, close up this one because i just want to after that i'll just pick this things or just for you to see but i just want to see how you can design this particular thing in photoshop so first of all what we need to do is to create your uh, document so i'll just click my file come to new and then the right now what you need to do is that put in the size so this one i'll call it triangle triangle banner just like that okay then when you have the triangle banner of like that and then you come and choose your inches over there so the width you make it 130 inches and the height you make it 43 just like that and then 300 resolution because the document is too big you know the image size is 1.48 1. 1.41 gig you know it will freeze my computer you know my laptop is doesn't have that strength it will freeze it so what we need to do is that for the tutorials you know to get so much a, a, a problem or freezing and those kind of things i just want to make my resolution somewhere 80 so that i'll have 40 megabytes just like that okay but if you are doing it for a client for printout make sure you make it around 60 or 72 and it's a little bit for and after that you can just adjust it by adding more resolution to it to make it make somewhere 200 or 150 for the printing okay then i'll have it like that then i'll click okay and then this is how this is what i'll have for right now i want to do just how this one is you get that yes so first of all come out with your guidelines go to view and come to new guide and the new guide the vertical make it 50 percent so if making it 50 percent means that it will sector the work you get that it will sector it like how it has sector it over there you get that yes and then the next thing you have to do is that come and pick your your pen tool over here and there is time where i'm going to draw and to look so beautiful for that particular thing 
so we are drawing so what you need to do is that and then make sure that the listing is path you can make a path or you can make a shape Okay, that to get everything clear, just make a shape so that you understand what you are really doing, and then you can fill make the field. You can change your color to somewhere right so that you can see everything clear. Yes, so the next thing you have to do is to zoom it out, just zoom it out, zoom it when you zoom it out. This is the angle, then you just click on the angle, just on the line, and the tip of, of the line over there, just try and click there just waste my time on it and select it and then click when you click you have clicked just once like that you get that then you can go zoom it out again and then the next thing you have to do again is that you just have to come back over there the tip of the this thing over here and then you click that one to once just like that you get that yes and then when you have something like that you see that your eventually making the triangle just like that and then the next thing you have to do is to come back here and then click the tip over here but for this one to make the the, the width very straight make sure you hold shift and then you click over there to you get that and then when you do that automatically the the other side will automatically do what it will automatically do what draw and then you bring it back to the top just there and then you click okay again then you have drawn the shape just like that and then after that what you need to do is to start working on your background and then you can close up this thing and make sure that the design did not appear on this white always make all your design to be in the red you get that yes so you can just close it up whilst doing or you can just on it whilst working so the next thing i have to do is to just come and pick the dark queen over there just like that and then when you pick it just i just want to make my work a faster and so i don't want to keep my time so you can have it just like that and then you can just uh, transform it you know my transformation is i just uh, and you can just transform it just like this to have it just like this. so that that one will be on top of the distance and then the next thing again i have to do is to come and pick this particular distance over there and then i'll just pick that one over there this one and i'll sell it all then i'll pick that oh it's only that one it hasn't picked then i'll just come and select this one this one this one this one this one and then okay this one then i'll just select some over there and then i'll just paste it just like that and then the next thing i have to do is to make sure that I transform it so that all my designs will be in the distance yes uh, let me rasterize this just like that and then i can have it in just like that and then i'll have it just like this and always make sure that your design is in there and make sure that this particular side the small side it doesn't come near to it if not maybe through your cutting or when you are pasting it may that one may go into the the sink over there the roofing it may go in there so make sure that this particular you can just fill it up like that okay yes and then this one too you can just pick that one too and then can use that one too. you know the whole of the distance you can just pick it out and then what you need to do let me just pick the right now over there then you come and put it somewhere there and then you do what you make some changes to it by you know making it so beautiful and then you put your distance there your phone number your everything so that is how we create the rectangular mapping sorry the rectangular uh, the triangle banner in photoshop and it's very easy and the next thing i have to show you is that maybe if this place let me show you something if this place is 10 inches you have a you have you have get it and at the end of the day you have 10 inches somewhere here how do you do that one too so what you need to do is that just come and pick a tool a, a, a rectangle marker tool draw something like this over there you get that so when you draw something like this over there come over and pick your rule if there is a rule around where is it where is it where is it, where is it? Rule, rule 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 okay that's the station for the rule there is rule somewhere here a rule oh sorry okay the rule is here you see when you click on the eyedropper tool over there you get the rule over there you pick the rule over there you so, know sometimes when you are making the rule the rule tool counts you see that it counts 
when you look at on top of the distance it counts so this is height it will count this is what it will count so the height is counting you get that so when you have some small thing over there that's like that what you need to do is that just pick the rule from this place maybe you can start from bottom to to to, to the top then you see that okay this the rule and the rule of over there is this particular edges you get that and this one let's check for something over here this one this one over there what you need to do is that checking on that you want inches so this is the height you see you can you can say i want 10 inches you put 10 inches there and then you click ok so when you put 10 inches there it means that 10 inches height so you just have to bring that one to somewhere here to the bottom so the next thing again you have to do again is to duplicate that one and hold shift alternate and shift control and then you bring it somewhere here to the last of the distance over here just like that you get that and then let us just, just close the distance over there so the next thing that i have to do is over there is that i'll just pick my return i'll just pick my pen tool over here then over there i'll just come and start on the tip of this particular distance over here click over there once and then i'll go and click on top of the distance by doing it rightly and then i'll come over and then i'll click the tip of this one to over there then i'll click down here and then i'll click down over here too then i'll make it together you see that so this one too when you put when you after printing when you, and you are going to paste this particular size that is here at the edge of the listing that one too will be filled out which will only left out as how the other one will be no so always make sure that you do the right uh, measurement measure the thing very well so before measuring when you see that particular distance you don't have to measure this place and this place no just measure height and then weight the length of the distance the down one the down of the distance the down weight just measure it and then measure the what the height and that ends the problem then when you come just put in the the the, 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 the weight and the what and the height and then after that when it have that small thing you measure that one too and when you come you just try and draw something like that you get that and when you draw something like that press ctrl t to select it when it's selected like this the height you make the height if the height is 20 uh, inches make it 20 inches and then you make 20 inches then you click ok then it means that you have just made your height bring it down when you bring it down if you are drawing start from that edge to, to the top to the last one over there over there over there and and that ends the problem yes and it's going to look so beautiful so thank you very much for watching this is abm graphics so this one i'm not going to design it because i already designed it but i just want to show you how to do this kind of triangle this thing without any problem and it will look so beautiful for you and when you do it you know i think people will like it so this is what we use but if you also have problem or you you have a client that have this kind of problem then this is how you can also solve it thank you very much for watching ask questions in the comments box so that i will know whether you understand it or you don't understand it thank you very much for watching this is even graphics and have a nice day bye bye